guys? It's your girl Liz and welcome back to day 12 of the NYX Lippy Countdown. I have uh, extra time before I have to go to work today and I'm going to do my face in fast forward and then we're going to do the eyes and we're going to do the lip and we're going to review it. I'm excited. Let's get jumped in. I'm going in with my Becca primer. I'm going to use my e.l.f. concealer in Fair as my foundation today. Yes, I'm playing Christmas music in the background, guys. If you have heard little snippets here and there, I do not have any rights to any music, licensed music, blah, blah, blah. So I'm not gonna worry about powdering too much under my eyes right now because I'm going back in with my new Morphe Fall Into Frost palette and I know that there's going to be quite a bit of fallout. So I'm just going to wait to have to wipe that off. Let me hit it with a little blush. And I'm doing a bit of a monochromatic look today, guys. That's why I did the deep bronzer and I'm doing a nice cute pink cheek is because this is the day 12 shade from the NYX Lippy Countdown. We have the NYX Liquid Suede in shade, I always read it before and forget, in shade Vintage. So I definitely agree with the name for this. It definitely gives off like one of those like vintage like sepia filter vibes. Look at this freaking color guys. Is it like red or is it brown? I don't know. It's like maroonish, which is kind of like the color of my shirt. I don't know if you guys can really see. But I'm super excited to put this on my lips. Let's get into the eye look so I can... Oh, I'm really excited about this look today, guys. This is going to be one of my favorite looks of the month so far. Before I get started, let me just go ahead and say that this eye look might look similar to the one I just did like two days ago. But... It's okay because it's like the same color scheme, but I'm super excited to recreate that look a little better. You know how like you've done it once and you can do it better again? Let's get into it.
So because I'm feeling this look so much, I'm actually gonna go in with some lashes. So as you guys have been told before, it takes me forever. I will be right back. Okay, so I think that that's gonna stay on. <sighs> Let me wipe this off. I'm gonna hit it with my Benefit Their Real mascara sample that I have from my Ipsy. I really actually love this with the falsies. I don't know. It just made me feel like it blended my eyelashes into the falsies very well. I'm gonna go in again with one of these lighter shades up here from my Morphe palette as my highlight because I loved the way that it looked last night. Nice subtle glow, right? Let me do the Cupid's bow so this lipstick is about to pop. Now that I'm glowing, I absolutely love this shade. Are you guys ready? I'm so excited. OMG guys, tell me you don't absolutely love this look. And the swatch on my hand is already pretty much, oh well it's smeared just a smidge, but it's pretty much dry. I did love the way that this formula dried last time I got it in the countdown. This pigment seems to be a little li more liquidy in application. I felt like it was kind of sliding all over but I feel like I kept it contained. Definitely a very tacky finish, but I ended up liking the long lasting wear of it last time. So sometimes I just need to not be so picky about one thing if I'm getting something, you know, other. But alrighty guys, I need to go dry my hair before I go out into the cold to leave for work. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. This is definitely my favorite by far. I hope you were ignoring my two band-aids on my hands. I don't know why, but I've been like chopping myself up at work lately. Don't forget to give this look a thumbs up. Let me know which look has been your favorite so far. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell so you get notifications every day when I post. And I will catch you guys on the flip.